right, so let's get into this. All right, I'm excited about the topics and whatnot. All right, the first one is the phrase, uh, there's somebody for everybody. Do you believe that God created someone, someone for everyone, someone for you, or will we just have to settle? And the reason why I kind of came up with that is because, you know, I think most of us are single except for Miss Jacqueline, you know. She's been blessed. You know, we're trying to get, we're trying to get, you know, but we struck. So we've heard, I know y'all grew up here, like there's somebody for everybody, but I don't think that's true. It's, I, I just think at, at some point you just gonna have to be like, fuck it. And just be like, you know what? Y'all know my biggest thing is teeth. Like, I'm just gonna be like, fuck it. He got teeth. Come on, bring your ass on. Like, come on, you know, like I... <laughs> I don't really think there's somebody for everybody. I think we're going to have to eventually just settle for someone. And then you don't necessarily have to settle. You could just be like, you know what? I'm good. Because you also heard the phrase, I'll do bad by myself. You know? And sometimes you just don't want to be bothered. So we're going to let the special guest here, special guest co-host, what do you what do you think about that topic? Like, do you think that there's somebody for everybody? Or men and women sometimes may just have to settle. You talking to me? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought it was a delay. I, that's why I was. Talking. I thought it was too. <laughs> I thought it was too. <laughs> uh, and, you know, okay, but yeah, um, I I think there is somebody for everybody. Um, it just depends on the person. I mean, but no, I don't think you should ever settle. Period. You know, you should always, you know, strive to be better. You know, but I, you know, I do think that there may be somebody for everybody. It's just, I don't know. It, it could go either way. You know what I mean? Maybe not in a relationship, but there's somebody for you, you know, as far as there. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. It, it depends. Okay. Courtney? Um, so I think, I don't necessarily, well, I think we all have soulmates, but I don't think they always come in the form as like a romantic relationship. I think they can come in any type of form. Like, I think my best friend is my soulmate, right? But that's never going to be anything romantic or nothing like that. Um, but I think she's my soulmate. I think as far as like romantic relationships goes and like people that you, you know, want to spend the rest of your life with in that manner, I don't think there's necessarily a soulmate. I think that there's people that, <laughs> there's people that you, not, what is the word I'm trying to say? There's people that you uh, are attracted to, not attracted like when you migrate to someone or when you are interested or you, I can't say that, I don't know what the word it is. Someone help me, y'all know. <laughs> Gravitation? Like gravitating to somebody? I think you gravitate to people more than others. And I think you can choose whether to make it work or not. I don't think there's necessarily soulmates. That, like, I don't think you're the person that you're with is necessarily your soulmate. I think that you gravitate to certain people more than others, and then you can choose to make it work or not, depending on however that works out. Well, that's that different. I mean, well, because now you, you, you're you introducing something different to what I was brought up on listening to, which is, because when you said you think your best friend is your soulmate, but not on a romantic level, I thought soulmate was the person who you're destined to be with. That's the way society make it see okay well i'm learning something new. yeah i know that when i know that when naturally when you hear the word soulmate that's what you think yeah. of the person that you're going to be with the rest of your life that year you're going to get but i don't think it necessarily has to mean that type of person um i agree with that because i don't know if i will ever be on the same i don't know if i'll ever be on the same wavelength as me and my best friend with another with, with a guy you know what i mean like i don't know how to explain it. but um yeah. I just don't think that it has to like everybody that's watching like have y'all I've never heard that before like so Daniel that's that you that's familiar with you like you've also heard that a soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be like a person that you're like romantically involved with absolutely not absolutely not I I honestly I actually just had this conversation the other day with a homeboy of mine because I believe like just like Courtney and her best friend, I believe one, I believe you can have multiple soulmates for different reasons. Oh, I do believe that. And um, I feel like like I my homeboy, that's my partner who's who's over the the uh 
the open mic that I'm with, I feel like he's like a soulmate on like a brother type of level. And I have another, like my best friend, I feel like is a soulmate on a brother type of level. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I definitely believe that it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic thing to have your soulmate. I was also brought up on that. That's something I actually just learned. No, I, excuse me. I was also brought up on what you were talking about, Ashley, or like your soulmate should be your romantic partner and things yeah. of that nature. I've just learned that recently in my 20s. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, as far as the actual question of what she was asking, as far as like, um, is there somebody for everybody? I absolutely believe there's somebody for everybody. I believe that everybody is formulated. God formulates somebody for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I even wrote in a poem one day, like, I believe when God was creating me in his hand, he had you in mind. I feel like he always has somebody in mind for you that is for you. Now, here's the kicker. <clears throat> What God can have for you, you can mess up. That's true. So he still gives us the power of free will. I said that on like three shows already. He still gives us the power of free will. So your soulmate, quote unquote, or that person that's for you, you can you can mess up, or it might be what you expect. I like, and I've used you as an example, Ashley. It's not a jab at you, but your soulmate may not have the teeth that you want right god wouldn't do me like that no it, god would I, not but it's do not me like it's that. not about what, how god would do you that that's that's where that's where we right, fail at. nothing but teeth that's, jesus <laughs> that's where we fail at though cuz it's like my soulmate is supposed to have everything i want right when he really just has everything you need mm -hmm. i need teeth god <laughs> no you don't you don't need teeth yes, I'm not saying he gonna be Gumby. I'm just saying he his teeth. Oh, dentures! Like he can pop them in and pop no, them out. No, I'm saying like his teeth might be a little crooked. It might not be as white as yours. Like you have very white teeth. I can see why you're you're asking for the things like teeth because you have nice teeth. Like his teeth might not be, but right. What I'm saying is he his teeth might not be as nice as yours. You get what I'm saying? But it, it's not necessarily it. Like we get we get settling confused with compromise. Right. Ooh, you're preaching, Daniel. We get settling. I know the C word. With compromise. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just you. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking yeah, about Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah. You know, there's a lot of people like I know what I want and this, that, and right, the third. Right. And it's like I'm not gonna settle for less when it's like, okay, well, you know, a man that you're saying you want, you want him to have six figures, but the man that God has for you may be making seven or eight figures, but you don't want to give him a chance because he doesn't look the way you want him to look. You get what I'm saying? I will say this right here. Based off of what you just said, so y'all know I was I, I I'm gonna say use the, the word was past tense because right now I'm doing a detox of men. You know I'm removing myself from the uh, dating world. You know because I'm focused on something right now and I don't need to be distracted. Okay, so this guy that I was conversing with the first time I, I spoke with him, you know it's like, well, hey, what did you do? What do you like? What's your occupation? He said he worked at a, a fast food restaurant. And automatically, I was like, the fuck? Because he was 44 years old. And in my head, I was like, I was like, oh my God, I just did it like with a reflex of like, oh no, what's wrong with you? But right, that's a, right, exactly. And I think we have that built in. That's the automatic, aka a reflex. Like you just yeah. go, oh no, hell no. Because in my head, I'm like, and I'm, I know it also is based off of how you built as well. I'm like, 44 you a dishwasher what the hell you know I just feel like there's more you know but also I don't want to go into a situation having to, to build a man like I don't I don't want to do that you know well, yeah, I, I'll, not, invest, I'll do some things but just, no because the reason why I say that because I don't want people to think like I'm just like turned off from it because I y'all know from previous episodes I put in the work I do what I need to do but the thing is the problem the roadblock is when you come in wanting to um, enhance that man, uh, they feel like you're trying to change them. You're trying to be their mama. You're trying to, you know. So that's why I say I don't want to have to come in to build a man. I want you to already kind of be self-sufficient per se or, or doing something that you love. Because I one of the things I hate is bumping into a guy, a new guy, and he complains about his job. Oh, my God. He's like, I hate it. I hate it. I'm like, why why are you continuously doing something that you hate like right. I, I don't i don't get how you can wake up and if anything that will put me in a, de a depressive state of mind like my mood would be all the way off 
like getting into something that I hate, waking up and having to go someplace every day that I hate, you know. But as far as the compromising part, now let me let me uh, and let me interject real quick. Okay. There's there's I'm not how do I say this? I'm not saying like you compromise on everything. There's some things you got to stand your ground on. You know what I'm saying? There's some things where it's just like, okay, this is a deal breaker or this is just set in stone, period. You know what I'm saying? But I would say something like to, to me, no disrespect to you, to me, I brought up the teeth thing because a teeth thing, unless she's like, you know, really jacked up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the teeth thing would be something that could be it worked out. Yeah, yeah like right. like the whole thing where if it the, the whole list thing i know that's cliche but if he got all the good qualities and then that one thing is throwing you off you may have something to you know what i'm saying reevaluate you I know mean, behind the scenes I, I i i mean i just you know i'm just putting it out there that sprinkle it in the atmosphere you know mm -hmm. your teeth, you know just <laughs> if you are interested in me be like okay well i know i gotta you know let me go get some that. dentures real quick <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, as far as deal breakers, like Courtney behind the scenes, you know, I just uh snapshot some stuff to her. Like, it was this guy, like, I've never ran into this situation before, but I just realized a deal breaker for me yesterday, which is a guy who damn near had everything pretty much going on. Uh, but he said he don't want any more kids, and I was like, I can't do that. I was, That's I was a like, deal breaker. I can't do that. I was like, because it's not fair to me. Like you already have kids and I don't have none at all. And of course y'all know I want children, you know, with the right person. I'm not pressed for it, but with the right person. But I was like, oh yeah, I can't. There's no need to even pursue this, continue this conversation because, and I'm, I'm, I'm out of the phase of, well, we can be friends. Like, no, the only way we can be friends is if like, uh, like dealing with Daniel, like he's a new person that I just met, but I would consider it like, you know continue like we would be friends but with social networking and you know everything like there's the something homie. beneficial there you know mm -hmm. so if it's just like friend uh, I, don't, I don't really care for that like i feel like we all networking like we all can come come up from something but all right uh so um i think um pretty much everybody agree that there is somebody for everybody i'm the only one that's kind of like mm, i don't know <laughs> you know eh, i got to settle you know yeah <laughs> all right so question number two okay uh well let's recap okay ken says having multiple people you consider as so 